Okay, so in this video, let's see that how do we merge branches which have conflicts inside them. And typically a conflict would occur whenever you are working on the master branch as well as the XYZ branch on the very same time. So currently we are here inside our application that is this MVP X. And if we look here, we see that we have these two branches here inside our project that is git branch. And this XYZ branch exists from the previous video. So firstly, let's delete this branch. So to delete a branch, what we'll do? So git branch hyphen D to delete and XYZ. So if we press enter, we see that we cannot delete this XYZ branch directly because it is not fully merged. So for, to forcefully delete it, what we need to pass, instead of small d, we need to pass in capital D here to delete the XYZ branch. And now we have deleted the XYZ branch. And now if we do get branch, we are simply have a single branch that is the master branch and we have a MVP ready product. That is we are at this position. So now let's say we want to start working upon a great feature J. So let's create a branch for that. So git checkout hyphen B, the branch name is XYZ like this. So let's clear out the console and we'll say here that is we want to start working for this great feature J. So we'll make a comment here or a p tag here that is started for feature j like this so let's save this let's make a commit here so git add dot git commit hyphen m that is a started feature j like this let's make another commit here that is let's continue working on feature j so here update to feature j like this now let's again make a commit so git add dot git commit hyphen m and update to j that our feature j is not yet complete but we made a commit here just to save the changes or the commit history and now a minor bug comes inside our application which was doing very good on the app store or the play store so what you need to do you need to typically switch back to the master branch and fix that bug with a minor update so let's do that so let's switch back to the master branch so by doing git checkout master like this. And now let's make a bug fix inside our application. So here we'll say bug fix like this. So let's save this on the master branch itself. Let's add it to the master branch staging area. And let's make a commit here. And we'll simply say bug fix like this. And now what you can do, you can push your master branch to the app store, to the play store or on the web where your billion dollar app is doing pretty good. And now let's start working again on our feature J. So what we'll do, we'll come back to the XYZ branch. So get checkout XYZ. And now we see that here we are working on this feature J. So now let's say that in this final line number 14, we completed our feature J. So let's say completed feature j like this so now we'll save this and now we'll make a commit here so get add dot get commit hyphen m and we'll say added feature j like this and it should be hyphen m and not simply m so we see that our feature j is complete and now what we want to do we want to merge this completed feature j onto the master branch which has the bug fix so let's do it here. So let's go back. Firstly, since we need to merge XYZ into the master, so let's switch back to the master. So check out master like this. And now what we'll do, we'll try to merge that XYZ branch. So get merge XYZ. And now here we can also pass in the squash flag, which we learned in the previous video. But firstly, let's see that how do we keep the commit history without the squash flag here. So now I'll do get merge XYZ. And don't be put off by the scary screen which you are going to see as soon as you'll press enter. So we see here that automatic merging failed and that is because we have a conflict inside our application. And that is because again that is on the XYZ branch on line number 13 we had this line here that is started for feature J. But inside our master branch on line number 13 or on line number 12 we have this thing here that is bug fix. So now it will ask you to keep the changes 
or what to accept and what to not accept from whatever branches you want. So here either you can accept all the changes or you can discard some changes. So let's do that very easily. Since I'm on VS Code, so it happens here itself that is inside inside this editor itself. But if you are working from a terminal, then this file would be opened inside the Vim editor by default. So what you do here, you would do the same thing inside that Vim editor. So now what we see here that is this is coming from the head that is this is coming from the master branch and these three lines are coming from the XYZ branch as we can see that is the incoming change. So what do we want to do? We want to keep this bug fix also, but we also want to include these three lines here. Though if you want, you can disregard some of the lines from here and you can also disregard some of the lines from here because now whatever we are going to do here, we are going to do it manually. So firstly, we want to keep this bug fix and we also want to keep this come feature J here because this complete thing is a feature J. So firstly, what we need to do, we need to simply remove this line from here. That is the headline. Then we also remove these equals here and then we also remove these things from here. And now we see that we added feature A, feature B, MVP ready product. We made a bug fix and then we worked on this feature J and our feature J is complete. So now it looks pretty good to me. So what I'll do, I'll simply save this application. And now if I will do get status, we see that we have modified index.html and now whatever we need to do, we need to do it manually. So what I'll do, I'll simply do get add to add the file to the staging area. And now I'll make a comment here manually by saying that added feature J with bug fix on master branch. So that's all what we did. We added the feature J and then we added it to the master branch, which has the bug fix. So now let's press enter here. And now we see everything is complete. And now if we do get log one line, we'll see the complete commit history here. That is, we were here on the master branch initially before merging. Then we switched to the XYZ branch. So therefore we had this commit history here because we did not use the squash flag. Then we did this update here. Then we switched back to the master branch for bug fix. Then we added feature J that is coming from the XYZ branch. And finally, the final commit which we made manually that is added feature J with bug fix on the master branch. So this is how you do it. So now let's see one more thing that is you do not want to keep all these commits here. That is all this commit history that is started for feature J update to feet update to feature J then added feature J then added feature J with bug fix on the master branch. But instead what you want, you simply want the MVP ready product, then the bug fix on the master branch and then added feature J on the master branch. You do not want to see these many commits here on the master branch. So what we can do, we can simply switch back to this MVP ready product or this commit history here. So by pressing Q here, so get reset hard, hard flag and then the commit which we want to go to like this. So now let's see what we have here. So we'll say get log hyphen hyphen one line. So we are back to square one and now let's make a bug fix inside this branch. So let's make a bug fix here. So by doing P bug fix like here. So let's save this. Let's make a commit here. So get add dot get commit hyphen M. We'll say bug fix like this. So get log hyphen hyphen one line. We'll see that we have this thing here. And now we simply want to make a single commit here, which would add feature J from the XYZ branch to this branch. So firstly, let's switch back to the XYZ branch and let's check the logs from there. So get checkout XYZ. And now we can make a log statement here that is get log hyphen hyphen one line. And now we see that this is the commit history. So let's add this feature J to our master branch. So let's check out master like this. And now what I'm going to do, I'm going to use a squash flag. So get merge XYZ into the master branch by doing squashing like this. So let's press enter here. And again, we have conflicts. So we know that how do we fix the conflicts? So we remove this thing from here, remove this thing from here, remove this thing from here, keep whatever we want to have. 
let's save this file and now we'll add it to the staging area we'll make a commit here so git commit hyphen m and we'll say added feature j because that's only what we want to do from the xyz branch we only want to add the feature j so let's press enter and now our feature j has been added to the master branch and now let's look at the beauty of the squashing thing here so if we do git log hyphen hyphen one line we'll see that we have this added feature j only a single commit here from coming from the xyz branch and we see that how linear is our project commit history is that is added feature a added feature v mvp is ready we made a bug fix then we added feature j so doesn't it look better than before so i would highly recommend that you should squash your merchings that are coming from the feature branches so now let's press q here and let's check back to the xyz branch and if we want to see the commit history here we see that we have all the commit history here on the xyz branch and we did not do uh, added these three commits but instead we merged them or we squash them into a single commit onto our master branch so let's switch back to the master branch and let's make git log one line and we see that we have a very beautiful and a very linear project here or a very linear version control commits here so this is how you do merging with conflicts with the squashing and without squashing so if you have liked the video do hit the like button if you didn't like the video do dislike the video and if you haven't subscribed to the channel do subscribe to the channel and if you want you can support me on paypal or patreon both the links are in description below so thank you bye bye tata take care and have a good day